Close your eyes and watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay right here, watching the breath coming in, watching the breath going out. You remind yourself of why we're doing this. It's to get the mind under some control. You tell it to do something you want it to do once you're told it. You don't want your own mind to be a traitor to yourself. You make up your mind to do something good, you want to stick with that all the way through. If you suddenly find yourself following some other mood going off someplace else, it's a sign you can't trust your own mind. And if you can't trust your own mind, who can you trust? As the Buddha said, the self is its own mainstay for who else could be your mainstay. We look at the world around us, there's a lot of dishonesty going on, people playing all kinds of tricks on one another. You look for something outside that's solid and dependable. But you're not going to find it unless you build something solid and dependable first in yourself. As the Buddha once said, a person of integrity is needed in order to see who has integrity and who doesn't have integrity. In other words, you make up your mind, you've got to stick with something, and you learn the qualities of mind that enable you to do that. Then you begin to recognize them in other people, and you're in a better position to see who's trustworthy and who's not. If you're not trustworthy with your own self, it's hard to realize, hard to detect who outside is trustworthy or not. So take some time right now to be true to yourself. Make a promise to yourself you're going to stay right here. It's the same with the precepts. We think in general terms that killing, stealing, illicit sex, lying, and not taking intoxicants, these are not good things. You harm yourself, you harm other people. Then all of a sudden a mood comes into the mind, you break one of the precepts. You have to look at those moods. You can't trust them. They're not on your side. John Lee says, think of it as the germs going through your brain, or the germs in the blood and the germs in our intestines. Maybe they have ideas, maybe their ideas somehow get in, into our brain. And he's using that as a strategy for figuring out what inside is, is trustworthy and what's not. Well, the things that you want to do and they're going to be good for you in the long term, because those things you can trust. But just because something comes appearing in the mind doesn't mean you have to identify with that thought and claim it as yours. You can say, well, maybe this is just somebody else's thought that's come in, somebody who doesn't mean well to me or doesn't care. Because if you follow that kind of thought, you, it's not a sign that you don't care about yourself either. So if you really care about yourself, you want to do things that will be for your long-term happiness. As the Buddha said, a sign of wisdom is when you know that there's something that's you like to, something you like to do, but it's going to give long-term harm, you know how to stop yourself from doing it. Or something you don't like to do, but it's going to give long-term benefits, you can talk yourself into wanting to do it. That's wisdom. That's the kind of wisdom you can trust. It's nothing abstract and nothing far away. It's right here, your wisdom in managing your own mind. Because the mind is the source of all your actions, and your actions, of course, are what shape your life. So you want to make sure that the source is in good shape, that the source is reliable. If the source is reliable, then what comes out of the source can be depended on as well. If it's not reliable, well, where are you going to find something reliable? So start by being true to yourself inside, and observing the precepts and training the mind to come to some stillness. That way you'll be able to see who's worthy of trust and who's not, who's honest and who's dishonest because you learn to build honesty and something trustworthy within yourself.